Bloomington, Illinois, a kaleidoscope of Americana nestled within the breast of the heartland, a puzzle of brick and foliage under a watercolor sky. Amidst this haven, hemmed in by a cocoon of homely shops and coffee-smelling bakeries, stood a narrow office building, seeming to cling to a time long past. The sign read, Sean Murphy, private investigator, above a tired door bearing the marks of a thousand stories. Within this hallowed space, bathed in the gentle glow of buzzing incandescent bulbs, Sean sat hunched over a mound of scattered files, every one a whisper of lives intersected and mysteries untangled. A man of winter years and eyes well acquainted with both sorrow and joy, he held an air of quiet sincerity. His wrinkles were etched like a roadmap of countless stories and endless roads. He had a heart as broad as the Illinois prairies, visible in the way his eyes softened when he listened to the townsfolk. How he offered a weathered hand of comfort to those on the receiving end of life's cruel games. But shadows of an internal tempest lingered in the neat alignment of his case files. The rhythmic drumming of his fingers, the way he would get lost in the slow, rhythmic dance of dust particles in the shafts of afternoon light. His battles with anxiety were private wars fought in silence. One such afternoon, as the sunlight mellowed into gold and the humdrum world moved in its slow waltz, an unfamiliar shadow darkened his doorway. A woman stood there jittery and worn, her eyes holding a mix of desperation and dread. She brought with her whispers of clandestine drug deals, strange happenings, and links to the local asylum, a wretched structure standing at the edge of town like a forgotten specter of humanity's fraught history with understanding the mind. He listened as the woman nervously spilled her tale, her words wrapping the room in a chilling draft. She talked of hushed voices in back alleys, of an old friend sucked into the grim world of addiction, of rumors about the old McLean Asylum and fearful speculations. As he listened, his gaze found its way to the worn photograph on his desk, a haunting reminder of the battles he'd fought within his own mind. In the woman's voice, he heard echoes of his own fears. His journey of healing had been a path walked with trembling steps. This was a call he couldn't ignore, an opportunity to turn his own history of trauma into a beacon for others lost in the fog. By the time the woman left, twilight had crept into Bloomington, draping the town in hues of mystery. He sat alone in his office, his mind echoing with the woman's revelations. He looked at the notes he'd made, the hastily drawn map of the town marking the ominous location of the asylum. In the quiet, under the still hum of his desk lamp, he realized that the town he thought he knew might hold secrets far darker than he ever imagined. The veil of normalcy was being pulled back, revealing the first traces of an enigma waiting to be uncovered. As the sun pushed its way through the Illinois sky, the quaint image of Bloomington transformed. The world awoke, chirping robins, scurrying townsfolk, cars humming to life. Yet the haunting silhouette of the McLean Asylum cast a stark, chilly contrast against this bustle. A relic from a bygone era, its spectral presence stretched across the town's edge like a haunting question. Sean, known for his unyielding kindness and quiet strength, now stood at the threshold of the asylum. His heart mirrored the hushed dread the town bore for this grim edifice. Beneath his calm facade, the familiar dragon of his anxiety twitched, its breath icy against his courage. But he had learned long ago to walk hand in hand with fear, to turn the echo of its growl into a guiding voice. The asylum's desolate halls whispered forgotten tales of anguish and isolation, of minds lost in the terrifying labyrinth of their own psyches. The air was heavy with the scent of decay, of time-worn memories etched into peeling wallpaper, stories encrypted into the cracked, cold tiles underfoot. He ventured into the depths of the asylum, a torchbearer in a realm of shadows. His eyes, now more accustomed to the gloom, began to trace an unsettling narrative. Fresher traces lay haphazardly amidst the decay, footprints hardened into the dust, symbols etched into the walls, cryptic and unsettling. He walked through the echoing hallways, each step a declaration against the enveloping darkness. His journey led him to those who lived at the fringes of society, 
the addicts and the downtrodden, their lives inexplicably tied to the decrepit asylum. The dialogue was often heavy, soaked in dread and despair, their words painting a grim mosaic that bound the drug trade back to this forsaken place. In an old rotting room that once housed the hopeless, he found a discarded notebook, its pages yellowed with age and marred with cryptic symbols and rambling, frantic text. The messages hinted at something far darker than a mere drug trade, speaking in hushed reverence of a coming dawn and the unseen masters. The day waned outside, surrendering to a starlit sky that threw the asylum into an even starker relief. As he left the cold, oppressive walls, he could feel the change in the air. A current of dread ran through him, hinting at a sinister puzzle yet unsolved, at secrets that hummed in the silence of the asylum. His return to his office that night felt like surfacing from a deep dive. The whispers of the asylum echoed around him. The cryptic messages from the notebook danced in front of his eyes. The town of Bloomington, once a portrait of peaceful Americana, now bore an undercurrent of ominous intrigue. As he prepared for the morrow, he knew he stood on the precipice of an abyss that promised a descent into the extraordinary and the terrifying. As sleep claimed him, alien landscapes began to form in his dreams, their exotic horror a prelude to the impending cosmic revelation. Bloomington, once the very embodiment of mundane simplicity, now whispered tales of the unfamiliar. Its once tranquil nights were now adorned with an unsettling, star-speckled silence. The pallor of the moon seemed to shed an ethereal glow upon the town, as though aware of the otherworldly secrets it held. Each day found Sean deeper in the labyrinth of the enigma, his footsteps echoing in the forsaken corridors of the asylum. As the investigation unfolded, he was no longer simply uncovering the town's dark underbelly, but peeling back the layers of reality itself. Days morphed into nights in a surreal haze, a tableau of strange symbols, coded messages, and eerie testimonies. His dreams, once his private refuge, were now filled with alien landscapes, bizarre geographies that defied earthly understanding, cosmic wonders that both terrified and intrigued. Despite the tremors of his anxiety disorder teasing at the edges of his resolve, he pressed on. His past battles with his inner demons served as both his armor and his compass guiding him deeper into the abyss. One night, as the town lay ensnared in an eerie quiet, he found himself in the darkest corners of the asylum. There, bathed in the ghostly luminescence of his flashlight, he discovered an unseen chamber. Its walls bore the same cryptic symbols he'd found scattered around, now radiating an inscrutable energy. In the center lay a metallic device, its form an enigma of twisting coils and glowing orbs humbling and horrifying in its alien complexity. In the midst of the strange apparatus, he found evidence of extraterrestrial influence, photographs, maps, and notes that bore the footprints of an otherworldly mind. It spoke of an alien species puppeteering the local drug trade, weaving a terrifying narrative that stretched the boundaries of human comprehension. His pulse quickened. The cool veil of his professional resolve threatened to fray at the edges, giving way to an overwhelming terror. But within the rush of fear, there also flickered a stubborn determination. His past trauma, his victories over the gnashing jaws of anxiety, had forged him into a vessel strong enough to bear this monstrous revelation. Back in the safety of his office, he sat with the alien truths unraveled. The whispers of Bloomington, the secret hum of the asylum, had all culminated in a cosmic chorus of dread and awe. Around him, the world slumbered under the illusion of its own simplicity. For him, the veil had been lifted, revealing the horrifying dance of unseen forces. The dawn broke as he looked over his notes, the horror of the cosmic revelation sinking deep into his bones. The world was no longer the same, and he knew he had to brace himself for the tumultuous climax. His heart clenched with the anticipation of the encounter that awaited him in the bowels of the asylum, an encounter that promised to shake the very foundations of his understanding. As the first rays of the sun lit up Bloomington, he knew the time had come to face the eldritch terror that lay hidden beneath the veil of normalcy. 
In the belly of the early morning, as Bloomington slumbered under the veil of ignorance, Sean prepared to confront the eldritch reality within the McLean Asylum. The world was but a stage of illusion, and he the solitary audience to the terrifying play that lurked behind the curtain of the cosmos. As he approached the looming edifice, its ghastly facade seemed to sneer at the insignificance of human apprehension. His heart pounded a primal beat, his anxiety coiling and uncoiling within him like a serpentine wraith. But he moved forward, every step an anthem of resolve. Once more, he descended into the asylum's cryptic depths, the air growing colder, the darkness more profound. His flashlight traced the arcane symbols etched on the damp walls, their alien language a prelude to the inconceivable encounter. The darkened chamber emerged from the maw of the asylum, a temple to the alien forces that toyed with Bloomington's unsuspecting populace. In the heart of this unhallowed shrine stood the alien device, its pulsating glow now filling the room with an otherworldly light. From its depths emerged the emissaries of the cosmic realm. The alien beings defied description, their forms an assault on human comprehension, a macabre ballet of dimensions incongruent with earthly understanding. They moved in disturbing fluidity, their language a symphony of discordant tones and unsettling resonances. The air itself seemed to distort around them, reality bending and twisting under their influence. Sean, rooted in the midst of this celestial horror, felt his sanity teeter on the precipice. His mind wailed against the unveiling of such monstrous truths, and yet a deep-rooted tenacity held him firm. The darkness of his past traumas, the victories over his personal demons, had been a crucible forging him for this moment. In a maelstrom of fear and awe, he found his escape, a window of opportunity woven from his own courage and the chaos of the moment. He navigated the twisting labyrinth of the asylum, the alien presence in echo in the hollow corridors. His heart pounded a victory march as he emerged into the gentle dawn forever scarred by the terror of the cosmic revelation. With the rising sun painting the world in hues of innocence, he found himself a stranger in the once familiar streets of Bloomington. He was a silent guardian of an unsettling truth, his reality forever refracted through the prism of the alien horrors that lurked beneath the veneer of normalcy. He bore his newfound knowledge as a solemn duty, a weighty testament to the limitless unknown that lay beyond the confines of human understanding. His office, once a sanctuary of comforting routines, now felt imbued with an uncanny solemnity. His gaze traced over the scattered files, the buzzing lamp, the silent telephone, each an echo of an existence now lost to him. As he watched the sun crest the horizon, bathing Bloomington in its benign glow, he recognized the world's double-edged nature. Beneath the tranquil rhythm of existence, he knew there resided terrifying and unfathomable truths. He was both haunted and enlightened by his journey, a guardian of secrets too vast and horrifying for the world to bear. The cosmic dance had ended, leaving him forever changed, standing alone in the quiet aftermath of revelation. In the heart of Bloomington, Sean now understood, resided a cosmic horror whose song would forever play in the background of his existence. And yet life continued in its unassuming pace, ignorant of the eldritch melody that he alone could hear. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, like it and subscribe to our channel where you can find more similar stories and click on the bell icon to never miss one. There is plenty more cosmic horror to come from the Eldritch Tales Factory. Stay tuned and until next time.